Hello, hello, and welcome to our first introductory video on our next Moto tutorial. We're going to be building this Mad Laboratory set, as you can see here. Um, everything is built in pretty good. Use some of Moto 401 stock content to litter the tabletops, and everything else was modeled from scratch. Yada yada yada. I guess I could show you the rendered product here. And this is what it looks like rendered out. Not everything's textured. I'm still in the middle and still working on it. You can see we have some water right here. And um, here's another picture over here with a different angle. You can see the water much, much better here. Okay, and this is the look we're going for. So, let us go ahead and close this down. And let's get a brand new scene. And let's start from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay in a cube like so okay now if you want to you can scale this cube up to as big as you want it to be it just depends on how big you want to work okay how much you want to work so first thing I'm going to do is let's say we go ahead go to our polygon mode let's get rid of these three polygons flip the rest around and now we have this room here okay not no big deal not no big deal right now pretty good little start okay so I want to grab my edges and bring them up like so and I might even make this a little bigger by scaling it a little bit more okay so now let's go in here and roughly lay in our let's turn off our lights so I can that won't be in the way okay now let's go in let's make I'm gonna say a cube let's go over here and let's draw a cube out like so and we'll thicken it up just a tad about like that okay that looks pretty good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a loop slice right up through here with a count of two mode symmetry like so that looks okay okay now let's go ahead and run couple of loop slices this way and that looks pretty good about right there now I'm gonna select these and we can do this one of two ways I can select this one and this one go to polygon mode and hit bridge as you can see that kinda of makes out our doorway there but before we do that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and slice this up a little bit more. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to slice it up a little bit more. I'm going to leave it just like that. Let's take our polygons on either side here, and let's bridge them. Close that gap. And we can do the same thing down here. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. And when we do do that, you can see it leaves some edges there. So the only thing what I'm going to do is go to polygon modus, loop this, and delete it there like that, like so. Now we just got these little edges here, and we can outline them, highlight them, and hit the P key, and it'll fill them in. Okay, now we have us a little door here. Let's go ahead and scale this in a little bit, make it a little skinnier, a little taller. Let's bring it on down to where it touches the ground here. And we'll take it back. Like so. That looks pretty decent right there. So now I'm going to go to edge mode and grab these edges hit W key and I'm going to pull them out a little bit about like that and I want my 
ceiling to be taller too. So I'm going to select those and pull up. That's a little bit tall, so let's bring it down some. About like that. Now we could we could also make our door a little bigger. Okay, that's looking okay. About I don't know. Actually, I'm going to make my room a lot bigger. So let's take these edges here. And let's extrude them. Like so. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with these two. Okay. Looking pretty good. Now let's select this. Let's take it over just a tad. Now we've got us a doorway there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to run some loop slices up through here. Count of one, 50%. Like that. I'm going to run one up through here. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is I want to run about four of them onto this one. I'll say count of four. We'll click. And that will run those all the way around like that. Now I want to position these. So I'm going to take these, each of these. And we're going to move them into place here. Maybe behind that one a little bit. Take this one. Let's watch where I put these, and we're going to put them, I don't know. About like this, I guess. Like so. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go to my polygon mode. I want to select these middle polygons. And I'm going to hit the B key, and I'm going to bevel them in, but I'm going to make sure I have group polygons selected. And we're going to bevel these in, like so. And I'm going to go in here and delete these side polygons that were created. Okay, now there's that. We got that laid out. Let's go ahead and position this a little better. That's looking pretty decent right there, and that looks like a good place to stop. So this is our first introductory video of making our first laboratory scene, and this is a good place to stop, and we'll see you in the next video, guys.